distilled water. We felt this is an important subject to bring up and felt it earned its place in our Wake Up Message series. As it's directly linked to your health and well-being, and for some maybe even their spiritual development, you may now be asking yourself why. Let's start with some basic facts and common knowledge. You know that water is essential to us for our survival. That's most likely due to the fact that 70% of your body is made of water. Water is probably about the second most important element just after air or oxygen. A less common known fact is that two thirds of the oxygen in your body's cells actually comes from the water you consume and only one third from the air you breathe. Exactly. Let me just repeat that. Two thirds of the oxygen in your body's cells comes from the water you consume and only one third from the air you breathe. Okay, you probably also know that you can live up to four, even six weeks without food. Whereas with water, that would be a lot less. Probably anywhere from eight to 14 days. Water also helps to protect and moisten your tissue, such as eyes, mouth, nose and skin. Helps you regulate your body temperature, lubricate your joints, lessens the burden on your kidneys and liver by flushing out waste products, helps you dissolve minerals and nutrients, making them available to your body in general, and transporting them to cells, and the list just goes on. Putting it simple, water is very important. Now, the only water that is 100% pure is distilled water, and that is a fact. It's so pure that it's even called dead water, which is really a silly term, but it's called that because it's got nothing left but H2O. Whenever there is the need for pure water in the science community, and also by others, distilled water is used. Here are some of the charts comparing the different water filtration systems, including bottled water. As some of you may know, your pineal gland, also called the third eye by some, is responsible for producing melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone which as its primary function regulates the human sleep-wake cycle, which inevitably also impacts your mood and emotion. Now, as you grow older and consume bad stuff, such as tap or bottled water, pop drinks, fluoride, etc., that will reduce the functionality of this pineal gland, as it calcifies it, so to say. When referring to the pineal gland as the third eye, well, a calcified eye will not see very much. Distilled water will help you clear and flush it out, not to mention all the other things it will help you to clean, detox and flush out of you. Myths about distilled water. There are a lot of myths about distilled water, most of them not taking the full picture into view or simply lies in order to promote tap water and bottled water. Sort of depends which community or industry you're getting your information from. The myths range from long-term use of distilled water weakens your teeth to distilled water is an active absorber and absorbs carbon dioxide on contact with air, making it acidic. Or even things such as Cooking foods in distilled water pulls the minerals out of them and lowers their nutrient value. To crazy statements like, distilled water washes minerals from your bones and cells and causes mineral deficiencies because it lacks the minerals found in other types of water. Now some of you may think this is funny, but it's true. This and much more nonsense is out there and being spread. So much so, that not long ago, we were asked, isn't distilled water poison? Yep, it's all out there, but don't let that scare or worry you. As usual, there is so much out there that a lot of things can get confused and it can get very confusing. We are sure you'll find out a lot more about all this with a bit of research on your own. Fact is, the best water you can drink is distilled water 
and making your own distilled water will not make you susceptible to any intoxications or other threats. You could literally take water from a black puddle in the city, distill it and you would still be drinking the purest water there is. Here are some extracts of some information on distilled water. In nature we have lakes, rivers and streams. The sun heats these vessels of water up and the vapor rises to the upper atmosphere where it's cooled and condensed back into water. Whenever you take water and change it to vapor and then back to water, just like this vapor's coming out of the pot here, that's distillation. Rainwater, though, falls through an absolutely filthy atmosphere. It's completely void of anything in it. It's, it's distilled water. But everything in the air is gathered up by the distilled water and taken down to the earth. So you have emissions from factories, smog from cities, solvents from all kinds of chemicals, emissions from cars, trains, planes, and buses. Our water comes to a treatment plant where we're chemically treating our water. That's why it's called a treatment plant. Our water is exposed to many chemicals. This, but we can take it a little bit further and, and make the light go on. This is uh, some of the inorganic minerals we get out of our distiller. We'll put some of that in there. We'll put some chemical from farms and factories in there. And we'll stir that around. So that's starting to look like now. Mountain Dew, right? That's what you're just thinking. Now we'll take it to the water treatment plant where we'll add a little bit of technology to it. And we'll stir that around and we'll aerate it a little bit, just like even Aminsky's talking about there. Add a little technology to the water. The right amount of chemicals we can make that awful looking water look just like tap water. Isn't that cool? Now let's see if we made it tap water. Yep. Now, according to Ivan Minsky, that's safe water to drink. The other thing is that what has permeated this field of water technology sadly is a lot of new age innuendo and silliness, to be absolutely blunt with you. Uh, water is hopefully two things, hydrogen and oxygen. If you want any more to be in water, uh, you're a mystic. That's what water is, it's hydrogen and oxygen. And remarkably, it is the most important element on this earth except oxygen itself for you. Show you the inside of this water distiller, and this is from actually about a week of distilling, about seven gallons, and that is just mud, um, a lot of stone, and uh, just nasty stuff that your body actually can't turn into um, nutrients. So, I highly recommend that you get a water distiller. Now, you may be asking yourself, what can I do? Well, get yourself a water distiller. There are a lot of really good ones out there. Just search for water distiller. Also, reverse osmosis is not bad, but distilled water is the best. You can even build your own distiller. If you're into that, you'd be surprised how easy it is. Stop believing that distilled water is bad for you. It's not. There is enough evidence out there to show you that it's the best there is, considering our current environment and other factors. And don't believe that things like chlorine can clean your water and still be good for you. Or just because a bottle of water doesn't mention anything bad on its label, does not mean it has nothing bad inside. There are a lot of ingredients that if they are less than 5%, they do not have to be called out on the ingredient label. This goes for nearly anything, by the way, even organic stuff. As an advice, don't put your own distilled water or buy your distilled water in PET bottles or other plastic containers containing BPA. We'll go into that some other time. As in that case, even though it's already a lot better than the conventional water, that would sort of beat the point. So just go with glass containers. Also, if you buy already distilled water, well, you never actually know what is or is not inside, do you? 